So it looks like people on the internet, um, specifically people on techno Twitter, are really pissed off with um, Jeff Mills because he's agreed to DJ at a festival in Saudi Arabia, you know? knowing Saudi Arabia, knowing M MBS, and obviously the accusations against him, you know, assassinating and killing journalists, one being, um, what's his name, Jamal Khashoggi, who is the feed, who is the kind of, um, who's been documented in that, what's that documentary called? The Descendant, remember that one that came out recently? I think there's a book on it too. I'm actually, I actually bought a book about um, Mohammed bin Salam recently. Is that his name, right? MBS, Mohammed bin Salam. Um, I've recently booked a book, book, I recently bought a book on him via Amazon. I think it's called Blood Money or something. I'm really interested to find out a little bit more about that guy and his background and whatnot. But anyway, in Saudi Arabia, they've got this festival, which they put on, I think last year, if I'm not mistaken, where they invited a bunch of influencers and shit to go there. You know, every everyone that was basically lacking in morals and ethics decided to go over to cash a check and come back and keep it moving, which, you know, whatever, oh, who cares? Uh, but I guess on the, off the back of plague graves, off the back of the, the pandemic, off the back of people mobilizing and being a little bit more socially aware and all that good stuff, I think it must be a little bit disappointing and disconcerting from some fans of Jeff Mills um, to see that he basically decided to go there for the check and put his morals and ethics to one side. And I have to say, I don't give a fuck. I really don't. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm on a tip now, especially off the back of a Virgil's untimely passing, and considering how some people act and basically respond when it comes to people from marginalized communities when they ended up doing faux pas vis a vis the Caucasian types who do many many a faux pas and never get called out by the flipping media publications, by the press, by the fans overall. I just not having it. I don't care. Let Jeff Mills go to Saudi Arabia and pick up his check. Let him go and dance in a fucking hula hoop that's on the floor and shit in terms of social distancing and do what he needs to do. Let him do it. I really don't care. You have the right as a fan to be disappointed in him if you legitimately thought that he was an ally, if you legitimately thought that your political um, and ideological leanings were somewhat aligned and he disappointed you in some way. Cool, feel disappointed. But I don't want anyone to kind of try and call him out on his name and to say that he's not ethical, to say he's not lacking in morals like in principles and ethics and whatnot because we can probably list a number of people within the community especially on techno twitter especially no no especially within the business techno scene who have got away with absolute murder throughout the last what 18 months or so maybe longer um absolutely shown themselves up especially djs on techno twitter man the, the moment these guys don't have gigs and they have to actually talk and interact and speak about the world you start to realize that jesus christ man you guys are dummies isn't it that's why for the most part i just listen to the mixes i tune i listen to the tunes i try and keep my myself at this arm's distance i do have a tendency to sometimes get involved and send dms that i probably shouldn't be sending but for the most part i try and keep these people at an arm distance because they are fucking fools once you start talking to them so again i understand the disappointment i get it being upset with him but whatever and it is what it is so i guess one guy here he tweeted that he was upset about um, jeff mills taking on the festival or being part of it on the lineup he posted here um sure there's no objective morality and all but if you like money so much that you take it from a government that kills journalists and has the death penalty for being gay, you really should ask yourself some serious questions, which of course you should. If you're somebody that you pride yourself on being a techno DJ, if you pride yourself on representing marginalized people or people that don't have a voice, you think techno is um, inherently political, you think that you can you know, heal the world through your mixes and through your blends, um, you think that the art that you create because of its kind of humble working class origins has the ability to change the way people are viewed change the narrative on things all these good things if you believe that i 100 percent know why you're disappointed but again jeff mills is a techno pioneer jeff mills is one of the last of the last mohicans when it comes to being a prominent black dj in that space that's doing the damn business still at that level and i'm going to protect that man until the cows go home i saw him recently at fabric he absolutely slayed um i didn't like the fact that he was you know being chaperoned around with a little harem of been uh, flipping them um, staff that were basically preventing him from interacting with fans and stuff but i don't also think he's a guy that's going to be hugging you and shit so whatever but still he's a god amongst men it is what it is we continue um, and then he posts the flyer of all the djs playing and of course the people that you would basically recognize will be there adam Bayer, um who was who was fucking on the flipping playgrave circuit super hard during covid man remember he he did not let up which i don't blame him too he's got you know two kids um a wife who looks like she likes expensive things you just have to keep it moving in it um afrojack alesso Emily lens of course 
the lady that's crying on the beach about was it her right that was crying no it was that piggy goo no that was Amelia lens right she was crying about straws being left on the beach but then also willing to travel hundreds and thousands of miles to go and play fucking play graves essentially in the middle of a pandemic especially at the heat at the peak of the pandemic she was still playing these play graves with no real sense of um hypocrisy none whatsoever just going there and doing her thing so again if you want to cuss um jeff mills i want you to bring the same energy to a media lens like fuck it i'm not i'm not for that um acts well but yeah loads of edm guys carl cox of course is there he was preaching loads of nonsense about people getting vaccinated and all that sort of stuff and now he is essentially taking the blood money and you know if you want to look at it that way from the saudi government me myself i don't i won't really care too tough but you know let's just call out the the hypocrisy um when it comes to that thing um who else you got here you got Carl Cox, you got Charlotte DeWitt, of course. All the standard business techno lot are there. David Guetta, Dead Mouse, David Guetta, of course, coming off the back of healing and f fucking solving racism in America. Cool to see. DJ Snake, Dubfire, oh, Dubfire. He had a lot to say about Playgraves, a lot to say about politics on that DJ's and beer show. To see him going to Saudi Arabia and picking up that check is very interesting. Interesting to see what he has to Again, I would be interested to hear what these guys have to say about their... Hmm, about the optics of it about how comfortable they, again w w at the end of the day money talks isn't it if these guys are getting paid what we think they're getting paid anywhere between 10 grand to 50 grand per set it's going to be very tempting off the back of the pandemic off the back of your earning potential being halved or may, maybe being quartered and again you've got you still got the same expenses but now you're not able to kind of meet them because you're not playing out as much because I know if I'm not playing out as much on my shitty level, I can only imagine some of the bigger DJs just also slow down for them because all the places that they'd want to play, not all of them are open. So it limits your pool of where you can play. And if, if you're a promoter worth your salt, you're not going to want to oversaturate the same person in the same market because there's going to become fatigue and no one's going to come to the event, which means you're not going to be able to make money, which means you're going to pay the DJs. So you're going to need to kind of, you know, mix it up a little bit, but there's, you can't, you can only mix up to a certain extent, depending on your laws of the country you live in, in terms of COVID and entry, da, 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 da. So it's a weird place to be, but I'd love it if these guys would actually reply and answer questions from some people that are not fans of, you know, these guys going to DJ these, these, at these places and just answer like, why are you doing it? Why do you think that's an ethically good thing to do? Um, considering as well, most of these people still earn good money anyway outside. It's not like this is going to be a make or break earner. But again, like, why do you do that? Why? Why, 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 why? Um, Loco dies, da, 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 da. Anyway, this next tweet, what do you say? Um, he said, expected this from many of the people on this list, but it's actually really crazy to see some other names on here whom I strangely enough expected better, much better. Part two of the insanity, it continues on. In case you news on this entry, this is a festival that's spun to finance by the Saudi government as a PR stunt. Yeah, cool. And then, of course, Jeff Mills replied to all this backlash on his Facebook because he's a boomer. It makes complete sense, <laughs> but let's read it anyway. Jeff Mills, the GOAT. Um, what do you have to say about it? How did he push back? Let's see if it loads. Come on, you absolute muppet. What's wrong with my computer? Okay, cool. Let's refresh it again one more. I fucking hate Facebook, man. It's an absolutely terrible app. Um, I download, I deleted my first account where I had like 5,000 people on there, which I re kind of regret because I had met, most of the people I had on there were people that I met on my travels, um, you know, cruising around the world and whatnot. And now I don't have any communication or contact with them whatsoever. Oh, what? Did he get deleted, that post? Maybe he got deleted. Did he delete his response? Oh no. Yeah, he deleted it, it looks like. Damn it. He deleted his response. Well, anyway, he did reply. I don't know what, I forgot what he said. Maybe I can get a party on my Twitter, actually. Let me see if I can get his response up on there. That's a shame, isn't it? I wanted to speak about that, actually, but it looks like Jeff Mills might have deleted that post. What did he say? What was his response? Uh, oh, he did make a response. So I've got it here. Cool. So his response, Jeff Mills, says the following. Regarding Saudi Arabia Sandstorm Festival. Hello. Now that some of you have had some chance to read the reasoning for why I'm accepting the invitation to go to Saudi Arabia, um, I've had time to read your replies and a level of your comments. Um, I won't get into the melodramatic fireworks, but instead jump right to the point. By now, in the political events that have happened in the world over the last six years, most of you should know that it's senseless to judge citizens uh, by their actions of their government. 
oh, he's doing that. Oh, I don't like when people do that sort of stuff. Like, you know, I'm playing for the people. I'm not playing for the government. Don't do that defense. Just say you're going to go pick up a check. It's dark times out there. You've not been able to play as much as you wanted to do because of the pandemic. They're offering you a crazy bag that's going to make up for all the missing gigs you've had this year. It is what it is. Just say that in it. There's no need to lie and talk about you or you're there for the Saudi Arabian people. Like, come on, man. You niggas don't give a shit about the Saudi Arabian people. Let's keep it a B. Um, it says here the same applies to judging an audience by the actions of the promoter or the organizer if that were the case the world would have been cut off diplomatic relations <laughs> what my g jeff mills is spinning this hard but i'm gonna back him i don't care you know what i mean black people protect black people um cut off diplomatic relations and isolated america during the whole trump presidency banished all chinese citizens here of russia's for both of the government's human rights crimes and all cuban people um, would be categorized as fascists but we do not because we know the difference yes the saudi arabian government and the conditions that they impose are primitive and violent and abusive and just out far right evil but it shouldn't cloud so because of so basically by his logic he'd go and play in north korea too in it of course they would think about it someone like a fucking what's her name nastia right she was all out there plucking plague rigging all over the place you know um what's his face as well who was another culprit like just playing in every place not giving a shit about what's going on in the world the world is on fire but these guys were performing all day long um some of them even moved in it who moved to colombia i forgot some tech house people moved to colombia didn't they or was it Cuba, colombia was it bali some of them moved over there and just like we're just getting fucked up playing in shitty bars and whatnot living the life um, but some of those guys, they, they love money a lot. Or they, they, it's either they love money or the dopamine hit that you get from being a DJ at that level is just so addictive. It's better than any drug. And you just need more of it. Having the adoration and the crowd be wanting you and asking you to play longer, the promoters kissing your ass. Like it just must be so um it must be just so addictive you just can't let it go you just want more you want more you want more anyway continue <gasps> da, 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 da. he spoke about trump yeah. um yes the saudi government's evil and they kill people and they chuck gays off of buildings but no he didn't say that and um, they said that they shouldn't cloud the idea in question and um, why some there think that by having a, such a large event and inviting these to play in unrestricted might make some difference most of you can probably remember a time or occasion in your past when you first realized the power of music and you're reading this is likely to happen while on the dance floor <laughs> come on jeff man just say they're paying you money they backed up the brinks truck to your crib they unloaded it all on your floor and you're like, huh? This is actually all in dollars, American dollars. I said, yes, sir. We want you to come play in our country, right? And then you went. It's no big deal. What makes you think an event in SA would be any different or South Africa or South America? I think. In fact, there was a place where the people might need to be mentally escaped and Saudi Arabia dance floors would be different than yours or is that what you want? Perhaps DJs in Saudi Arabia isn't really what some people are upset about. Maybe it's something else. If it's about the money DJs are earning, it's because, it's because SA is a wealthy country for the petrol world uses. They can afford to pay more because they have it. And if you have a problem with professional DJs earning money, then that's an issue of a wider, deeper personal problem that life career coach might possibly be of help. Oh, so he's saying that, oh, okay, Jeff, I'm still backing you, but off, mate, off. This is, this is, this is not the best defense, my guy. Um, you better off of just being honest about your intentions, about your reasoning. Again, either you don't explain yourself, which you don't, shouldn't have, because it's your money and it's your job and it's your career and you're a fucking adult. You shouldn't explain yourself to anybody. Or if you do explain yourself, you just say up front, I'm doing it for the bag. This whole like um, combativeness, pushing and insulting of the fan or the reader is a bit gross because these guys who are complaining, I would imagine, are legitimate Jeff Mills fans, right? They love the guy, they love techno, they've been supporters, they buy his stuff. Like, I mean, they basically support his career the entire time. And they, again, it was naive of them to think that, but they generally believe that they were ideologically matched or, you know, connected or they had similar ideas or views and society and politics right they generally thought that and of course they're disappointed now that he's doing something that doesn't necessarily vibe with them get it but you know again we're back in jeff mills jeff mills club all the way to the end it's continues here it says um here's the most important part of the letter there are people in saudi arabia right now that are in a desperate need suffering afraid isolated victimized traumatized abused and have been killed for what they believe in some of you seem to think that it's a good idea for international djs to boycott and not go which would further isolate young people there okay 
that all of us in electronic dance music don't care about them if it's their problem. I'm positive there isn't a single DJ booked for this event that agrees with Saudi Arabia's government. Yes, I, I definitely think there is, mate. Honestly, DJs are, the, are a weird bunch, mate. If you've listened to any people speak online, especially on Twitter, when they actually have time to speak and say their opinions, like, you know, they're legitimate adult babies. Do you know what I mean? Like, they have some very infantile views on society and the world at large, which is why I don't follow most of them. I just kind of use, you know, uh, Twitter for this actual use which is to you know talk about fashion and you know complain about football and dip into the world of black Twitter but when it comes to DJ talk honestly those guys are mad I wouldn't be surprised if some of them legitimately think what they're doing in Saudi Arabia is you know is um humane is kind of justice along the way doesn't you know I mean uh, they've got some weird opinions anyway I'm positive there's no single DJ books on an event who agrees with Saudi Arabia's government and what they're doing, but yet some try to connect DJs as if they're somehow complicit. That's outrageous, but hey, it's social media, anything goes. Until we fact check, right? There can be an isolation or a dialogue, both are proven to be affected. I know it's a holiday fun to accuse people, to portray people like they have no morals and making earning and money. The only reason they accept the play, which is the only reason they accept the play. Why else would you play there? Legitimately, I think I said at that time, what the whole playground things was happening some of these guys that didn't even need a Kravitz those people if you would have offered them a bag and told them to come and DJ on the, on your fucking controller on your laptop in your living room they'd probably come they didn't have any you know what I mean they were just guns for hire whatever it continues next um but most of you know that's not true. A lot of you have seen otherwise over the centuries, over the decades, while some of you are just infants. While some of you are just fast at work and making sandstorm event memes, I only ask that you don't forget to mention the real victims of all this, which are the citizens. <laughs> Yo, this is epic spin, man. This guy is a spin master, which makes sense because he's a sick DJ. Get it? Huh? Corny. Anyway, um, use the platform wisely. Spread the word of what's going on over there. I don't know if there's any... Or if there, I don't know if there any... I, sorry, I don't know if any of these words will make some of you understand the meaning of this but then they're not all the same anyway welcome to planet earth everyone else please take care have a nice have a holiday and go fuck yourself no you didn't say that best regards jeff mills anyways look he's going there for the money he's going there for the bag it is what it is you know at the end of the day like i said beforehand i don't necessarily give a shit um i don't really look at my artist as um um my kind of beacons or my standard that i'm going to view or that i'm going to frame or cultivate my whole world view and political view and whatnot that's not the place that they occupy maybe they might make a tune on anthem that might inspire me to do certain things but in terms of informing my political views i try and do that on my own i try and do that through living i try and do that through learning but i also try and not do that through djs i mean that's just not the right way to go about things i understand if you're a fan of his you're disappointed because you thought you were aligned you're obviously not now it's up to you as a fan what do you do if you don't align with him you just don't support his stuff and you just keep it moving but this constant insulting of people and getting up them and whatnot is nonsense he read a whole lot of fluff there really the reason why he's going is because of the money we all know that we're all adults it is what it is let's just all you know move on and whatever it may be is it be the people on that list for the most part with the exception of jeff mills are never going to come out and explain themselves because the truth is they're going for the money the morals can go to one side and it is what it is but i just don't want to see i just want to see the same energy that's given to jeff mills given to see other people if you're going to attack Jeff Mills, please attack fucking, not please attack, but also scrutinize the people like Amelia Lenz who are, you know, on a beach crying about turtles getting flipping, you know, straws getting poked up their nose, but then they're happy to, again, fly thousands of miles to DJ somewhere during the height of the pandemic and essentially kill, you know, many, many, many grandparents off the back of it. Again, I'm not too sure if that's true. Allegedly, who knows offhand it could be, but, you know, what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? What can you do?